Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Here is the Falklands reprinted with a complete system. You're not gonna have to uh, buy any extra modules or own anything different or separate to uh, have access to it. It comes in a big box, so if there are any ever any add-ons or expansions, you will be able to fit them all in nicely. Uh, what can I tell you about this game that's a little bit different from the other shrink grips? I think, uh, you know, this, this was obviously reprinted and it was successful. Uh, when the first expansion came out, you know, very thin box, uh, beautiful uh, hard mounted maps. And there was absolutely no way in my mind that I was ever going to play anything uh, in the Falk Heroes of the Falklands modern lo lock and load tactical system on anything other than the hard mounted maps. Well, they came out with the, you know, the, the extra, extra large sized uh, X maps, the, the larger hexes, and me and my buddy, who are long, long time lock and load players, you know, he's probably got a couple hundred plays under his belt, and I'm, I'm probably upwards of a hundred now. Um, <clears throat> we were converted. Absolutely converted. So first thing we have here is, of course, the module rules. Now, there's some very nice things. If you don't know anything about the Falklands campaign or much about the... Uh, let me see if you guys can see here. Okay. Much about the <clears throat> some of the, the big picture elements of the Argentinian forces and, and whatnot. There, there are some nice little rules in here that capture the national characteristics and the terrain. So uh, rough terrain here is extra rough. Uh, and I'm not gonna get into it, but it has a, a, terrain, a terrain modifiers that are more significant uh, than most because of the rocky nature of the island. Uh, the British forces, highly trained individuals and uh, resilient. They earn uh, special capabilities when it comes to Malay and self-rally. Uh, there's also, uh, for the Argentinians, uh, this unpredictability aspect where sometimes they can uh, fight like rock stars and other times not so much. Uh, we even have a ship in here, uh, ATGM uh, weapon, weaponry and things like that. Nice explanation of all the uh, breakdowns for the various the various Argentine units. And then the scenarios, right? The scenarios are... <clears throat> uh, the scenarios are... Oh, there's thermal imaging as well, of course, because it's modern. These scenarios, I've played nearly all of them, and I think the majority of them are extremely well-balanced. Devil Went Down to Georgia is an awesome scenario. That's just... A, a, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. I nearly swore. Really good fun. The Fanning Head Mob. Now that is a scenario that I believe was... Was that in the mag one of the magazines? I think it was. I think they've added that in here. So that's very cool. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Unexpected Drop is from the basic, uh, the basic game. Lots of special little rules here for the power drops and surprise and snipers and fun stuff. Pinned is just a bitch. I've played this many, many, many times. Argentine forces are on this uh, ridge here and uh, the Brits are gonna come across all this open ground. They've got some artillery, they've got some smoke. These guys have got some artillery. There's some Harrier action coming down. Just freaking amazing. Surprise party is a fun, fun scenario to play as well. Uh, I like all these. Marlow, I top Marlow is uh, kind of a, a very, sh I think this is a pretty short scenario if I recall correctly. Uh, yeah, three turns. And um, <clears throat> time is of the essence here for both sides and very careful play, tactical play is required. And this is where when you play uh, this game, uh, messing, messing with the core rules and changing the core rules, which is uh, there's some talk online of, of doing that. Uh, th th these shorter scenarios, that's going to change the game significantly. And I, more power to people that want to offer up optional rules. That's great. I'm going to play vanilla. Fly half. I don't know if I've actually played this guy or not. Maybe one I haven't played. 
And Two Sisters is also uh, an excellent scenario, but this is a long, long one, and it's a fairly big one too, 15 turns if I recall correctly. So, <clears throat> as you can see, good stuff in here. Now, all the usual goodies that come, we have uh, excellent upside down counters. And I also like how uh, a, a lot of the, the artwork really does try to evoke the national characteristics, and You've got all the uh, special cards, uh, skill cards for leaders and heroes when they're generated. Uh, additional buildings are required in this game for various scenarios. You've got some pretty cool, unique weapons. You've got uh, 99 millimeter, 99 millimeter, 90 millimeter recoilless rifle teams, uh, some ACAC, -ac, uh, various uh, different vehicle types. And then you've got all of the um, uh, all the different Argentine forces here, and then the Brits down the bottom, extra Brits, Paris, and uh, the Royal Red, the Royal Marines are in there as well. And then these are the very sexy. It's kind of hard to see in the glare, but these are the maps. They're really nice looking. Of course, you, if you buy the X maps, the add-on X maps. All these are uh, basically 50% bigger again, which which is fun. You can actually lay out all the counters on the hex. You don't have to stack anything or anything like that. And I, I don't think I need to go through all the charts, right? You've got, now you don't need all of, to use all of these. Someone said to me, oh gosh, I, I, th this is so much stuff. You need this guy. That's it. Terrain, DRMs. Combat results, right? All these are just aids that if you wish to use them, you may. Uh, you can put them straight back in the box. You can you get your leader, you get your, your hero uh, or uh, leader chit, read it, put this to one side. There's a few more charts in here as well. So there's the turn track, of course, which is always nice with a few little uh, reminders on optionals. And then this, I, I, I really like this. This is the primary chart that I do go to. If, if I can't recall exactly what the specific process is in a given um, artillery or air support or ordnance uh, uh, process, I will use this. You can look at it, look at it. I can look at the individual counter type over here and go, okay, it's my, uh, at range three, I've got a 10 to hit. I'm gonna do eight penetration damage. And I don't know if you can read that very well, but uh, with the glare, sorry dudes. But there you go. Anyway, <clears throat> dudes and dudettes. Good fun, there's, uh, let's see. There's a bunch of maps in here, three, five, I think, yeah, five maps. Uh, excellent stuff. Of course, if you get this, and then you go and get uh, the uh, Heroes in Defiance, and uh, uh, you know, Fighting the Motherland, or whatever it's called, uh, the modern, uh, take tactical, modern tactical one, then you've got some British units that you can use uh, to fight with the French and the Americans against the Soviets. Hmm, <laughs> just saying, you could do that if you wanted to. All right, here's the Falklands. Another lovely big box reprint. Uh, get them while you can. Rumor has it, many of the games that have been ordered, uh, were ordered in, are already at uh, not low stock levels, is, but uh, David was telling me that uh, some of the games are actually at 50% of uh, the 50% sold out already, is what he said, which is pretty impressive. I know the uh, production run numbers. I'm not going to share that. Well over 500, I will say that much. Uh, not 5,000, but uh, significant. So they're uh, they're cranking along there. Talk to you guys soon. Ciao.